Hello people that in that house are doing. Um so yeah, the moment the time Ireland's not fair and too well with the coronavirus we have seen, you know, it's jumped it's jumped up to eighteen people infected and you know it's terrible news coming from Cork. Um from that side of the country that you know a man was infected, you know, it was a community spread kind of thing. Yeah, that's the way they phrase it. Um, in the Western media, obviously. Um, so he wasn't in contact with anybody. I don't know how he got it. I really, really don't know how he got it. Um, I'm trying to figure out that. It probably was spread through the air or something like that. It's very hard to know, but it, unfortunately there was... And I have to say this, there's unfortunately 60 doctors and 60 nurses have to be uh, in self-isolation because they could have it. They could have the coronavirus in Cork. Um, which, you know, and they, it's madness, and, you know, we can't replace them. We can't replace 60 doctors and nurses. We don't have them in the country. We don't have any spare nurses and doctors to replace them. And, you know, some great idea, you know, the Department of Health had, and I, I'm being sarcastic when I say great idea, do you know what they're like? Let's bring back doctors who are retired, um, doctors that are old and, you know, could get in more quickly, the coronavirus. And, you know, that's just a great, great way of tackling them. I'm sure everybody would agree with me that that's just great logic. Um, but, you know, on a serious note, it's just, you know, it's just getting worse. And there's nothing to this country to stop it from getting any worse. And it's only going to get worse. And I have to admit it straight um, from the doctor's mouth because it's going to get worse. We have to prepare for it. It's going to really, really get very, very bad. And this country will suffer terribly because of it. Um, because of how bad the health service is the moment and we can't cope with you know that they're struggling to find out who the 18 people that are affected now they're struggling to find out who they were in contact with and who didn't you know live with now they're struggling like they are struggling and if any more gets affected like day after day there's more and more people getting affected and it's just not going to end well it's really really not going to end well we see a hundred thousand people affected across the world like that's a huge amount and then the fourth step in the uk too that's no, this is really, really bad, and we have to admit it. And you know, the Irish government, whatever, if it's not, it's not formed yet. But anyway, whatever temporary government we use that word because obviously we'll be another election. Obviously, we'll they use this coronavirus as a means to say, you know, we meet another election. This, that, and the other. Um, they use anything to try and get the ba- back into the elections. But um, you know, with my advice, and we had a local meeting there about an hour ago. Um, and we said we're going to reduce gatherings in the local areas. We're going to have, you know, only about 40. You know, 40 is the max of people that should be in a room at a time. Um, but obviously, you know, we said, and we have advised people in this community, you know, wash your hands as much as humanly possible. If your hands fall off because you wash it so much, then that's a good sign. Um, but we have said to people, you know, wash as much, as much as humanly possible. And, you know, any clothes or anything that gets sprayed and, you know, spray down your clothes, and you know, do as much as you can to you know protect yourself and protect your family. Um, and you know, if you have any concerns right now, and we have said this to older people because the majority of my town are older older citizens, um, and don't use the internet and don't have you know the means, only rely on the television to tell them you know what's happening. Um, we've said leaflets out. We've said you know other things out to say to the you know older people. Uh, if you feel like yeah, you know, if you feel unwell, if you feel like you know symptoms after the coronavirus, you know, to contact us immediately and we we sort something out straight away. But um force things forced to anybody. Um don't don't panic, don't panic. It's simple as that, don't panic. Um just be prepared. And as I said to everybody, don't panic and just be prepared. That's the words I use. Um we have to be on preparedness and I said to the you know to meet tonight, um we have to be on readiness. We have to be on preparedness. We have to be mobilised. Um, because, you know, it's gone past the stage where we can't mobilise. We have to be mobilised. And obviously there's been more, huge, more decisions we have made. Um, like, you know, every restaurant, every you know, every business in the town has to, um, you know, spray down their things uh, at least three or four times a day. Like, say, the pub, they have to spray down each desk. And, you know, rub down each desk with hands, uh, you know, with sanitizer to, to get rid of any diseases. And this is just precautions. This is just precautions. We just, you know, we want, to, we want to show people that we're doing something. And we are doing something. We can't, obviously, have checks in the roads and the rest of that. That's up to the local authorities to do that. But we're doing stuff locally to, you know, try and do our best. Um, and that's all we could do. We, like as I said, we can't, we have to just... Hope, and that's what we can do as much as we can. We have to do as much as we can with what we have. Um, but I'm saying to people, you know, please, 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 um, 
you know, try and wash your hands as much as possible. Some people take this as a joke, and it's really, really not a joke. And, you know, you know, a lot of people did, I know a good lot of people who said it was a joke when it first started. And, you know, now they're really, really scared, and it's really, really scary. Um, because, you know, I feel like God's punishing us. Um, I feel like God is punishing us, and I think he's punishing us for all the evil we have in this world. And all, you know, all the things we're doing, all, you know, we're doing so, so much to hurt the, you know, we're doing so many people out here being evil and, you know, doing things they shouldn't be doing. And, you know, it's just that, it's just that, and we have to, you know, we have to, it's some kind of a vengeance. Um, and obviously he's punishing us for our, our sins, in my words. I think that's what he's trying to do. Because, you know, this is like the only flu. We can't, you know, we can't tell. And the simple that we can't tell from terror looking at somebody that they have it. Um, we can't. We simply can't. And we, we've we been looking at things. We've been looking at graphs and information trying to figure out, you know, how could we nail it down if it does come? How could we nail it down if somebody's affected and somebody hasn't it? Um, and we simply can't. We can't find any solution. Unless we have, to, we have two of um, heat, we can measure people's heats. Um, but obviously, you know, we can't use them in the moment. We've been told by the local authorities not to use them. Um, and two are absolutely necessary. That's the words they used. Um, and I think it's still, I think it's necessary now. But um, it's got very, very serious. And I really have to say to people, it's got very, very serious. And, you know, the local authorities have to see about Cass and St. Patrick's Day Parade. Because I think it will, you know, be, it will be atrocity. It will be atrocity if it goes ahead. Before that, I might have been 50-50. But I'm formally going to say now that, you know, people's health and people's safety and you know, the safety of our children, the safety of our older people have to be put forced. And I think everybody would agree with me on that. That simply it has to be put forced. People's health and people's lives have to be put forced and not, you know, some silly parade in, with sweets. Um, but it's not really silly, but, you know, I'm sure you agree with me. People's health has to come forced. People's well-being has to come forced. Um especially older and younger children has to come forth and we can't risk their lives. Um and I'm you know, I'm I already have said, you know, obviously they could fall in the situation. But we have to be prepared. And I've said so long we have to be prepared for what could come. Because we haven't got the health system to cope. And I might as well be honest with people. I'm not gonna say that people we can cope because we can't cope in this country. the people are sick already. And as I said, we have 60 doctors less and 60 nurses less in that hospital. That's going to take a huge chunk out of the staff in that hospital. And they won't be able to call some staff in. There's no young doctors, there's no young nurses in Ireland. They're all left to go off to some other countries. And they're white too, to be honest, because you know, why would you risk your life um, and walk hard conditions and hard conditions in Ireland when you can get you know, more money and less hours in other countries? And we can, you know, as I said, we only can hope for the best. And, you know, we have to prepare for the worst. And I really have to say that, and I, I hate to say it. But um, I think life in this republic may change a lot. Um, but God bless us and save us if it does happen. But it looks that way. There has to be, you know, it has to be very drastic measures taken. And it has to be something done. Um, we have to prepare. And it's simple as that. But anyway, just the... Uh, you know, be aware of everybody and, you know, subscribe, uh, well, so, you know, scrub your hands as much as possible and obviously, well, scrub or wash, what would be the word, the right word to use? Um, suppose wash would be the right word to use. Um, that's really it. That's, uh, but, um, yeah, so thank you for watching, subscribe more. Um, don't really know what else to say, I'm kind of a bit dazed on what to say now. Um, but my advice to people, you know, wash your hands as much as possible and try and, you know, like even my gloves here, I just use my gloves as an example, um, and even my jacket here too, um, you know, four times a day, you know, I spray this uh, bacteria killer on it, it kills bacteria and kills, um, you know, stuff to cling onto your jacket and clean onto your jumpers, you know, I spray this on four times a day on this, on my clothes, um, you know, it's, it's a, you know, it's trying to, you know, stop the uh, stop it from going into your clothes or anything like that, because it can happen, it can happen, um, but we have to be prepared, and it's simple as that. And I don't want to go on and on and on about it, but I can't emphasize enough to people, you know, this is really, really serious, and we're going to, uh, this country is going to regret it if we don't start, you know, up in our game, and the government has to start, local authorities have to start really, really pushing and pushing, pushing people's health force instead of worrying about, oh, we're going to have to spend money on this. 
Like, you know, they haven't even got checks in the airports and the ports. And it's a joke. It's a really, really joke. That's one way we have to combat it straight away. That's something that should be put in the morning. Without a shower of a doubt, we need to do that. We desperately need to do that. Because we God knows who is coming in and God knows who is bringing in this disease. Um, and we need to be prepared. We need to know before they come into Ireland, you know, who hasn't, who hasn't. Um, but it's just a very, very... You know, unsettling situation to be put in, in treaty, treaty. Um, and you know, God is, I feel like, and I said, uh, God is punishing us for something. He's punishing us for something because we are suffering terribly for this. Um, but I'm saying to people, you know, as I said in many videos, you know, the Irish people have always come out and throughout famine, throughout, you know, genocides and through everything, the Irish people always showed the spirit of the fighting Irish. And by God, you know, I say this again and again, we can show it again in Treaty Treaty. Because we are the Irish people, we have lasted so, so long. And we can fight off these diseases, we can fight it. Of course we can. But anyway, take fortune. And, yeah, we can only hope for the best.